All right, we're back. So you remember this simple page we created with um, this very simple HTML that we have here. And uh, then we were looking at this much more complex page, which has images and video and all kinds of stuff like that, drop down menus. So let's take a look at what this looks like behind the scenes. So one way to do that is you right click and you want to select view page source. So what does this mean? It basically means show me the source of this page or in other words, show me what creates this page. And you know what creates every single web page in the world, of course, is HTML with the help of CSS and JavaScript. But you need that basic HTML. So let's view the page source. So here is all the code that's used to generate the Studio Web homepage. Now, there is a lot of code in here. And trust me, it's complex. Even experienced web developers, web designers would have to look through this. There's a mixture of code in here. There's a lot of HTML, there's some JavaScript, and there is some CSS as well. So uh, I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like. So let me zoom in a bit. Your first clue that this is an HTML page is the first line here. Number one, you see doc type HTML. So what does this mean? This means that this document type, because this is a document, right? It's a page, it's a page of code, is of the type HTML. And we'll get into more later. Now you see these numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. These numbers are put there by the code editor. In this case, we're using Sublime Text. And these numbers are telling us you know, which line this code happens to be on. So we're looking on page, on line 25, we see that we have a, the link code. Yeah, there you go. So that's why we have these numbers here. These numbers are put there by the code editing app. The one we're using now is Sublime Text. They all do it, by the way. They just have the numbers there just to make it easier for you to know where you are in the code. So you might say to your buddy, hey, check out line number 49 and look at the code there. So it just makes it easy to identify. Finally, I'm doing these demos right now on Mac, on an Apple computer, but it's the exact same thing whether you're on Mac or you're on Windows, or you're on Linux, coding in HTML, building websites, is the same thing. There is no difference. HTML, CSS, JavaScript, all the computer languages, in fact, all of them, not just the web design computer languages. The web design computer languages are HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But all computer languages can be written on, can be created used rather on any computer, whether it be Mac, Windows, Linux, or even Chromebooks, whatever. It doesn't matter. They're universal languages. The only reason I'm using Mac now is because it's just convenient for me. I use the Mac. I have better hardware uh, here. But I'll do some demos later on Windows as well just to show you. But it's the same thing.